Water. While perhaps not the most practical terrain for D&D or wargaming, it is certainly one of the easiest to make, making it a great introduction to terrain building. We start off by cutting the foam into squares. I did several squares, three inches by three inches, a few six by six, and one 12 by 12. For actual gameplay, you'd probably want a few more depending on exactly how much you're using ships and whatever else, more than just setting a coastline. We're going to spread some drywall mud, or more properly spackling, onto the foam. I'm trying to keep an even, smooth coat. Thicker mud makes bigger waves, thinner makes smaller, so some variation is good since it gives more realism. You know, make sure you get the mud all the way to the edges, and then wipe off excess from the sides so there aren't any bumps. Now we're going to use an unwanted paint roller to roll over the surface. And press down enough to get the texture you want. If you don't like how a section looks, just roll over it again. I think it got smaller and nicer looking ways when I went slower, but you just experiment for a minute or two and you'll figure it out pretty fast. The mud does wash out pretty well from the, ro the roller, uh, but just in case it doesn't, using an unwanted one makes that less of a stressful thing. Now we're going to cover everything with some black Mod Podge to give these delicate points some durability. The tiles have all dried really nicely. I just dropped one of these a couple times from about waist to chest height and there is no damage. I am super impressed by how much the Mod Podge really helped these out. So let's get into painting them. I started off with a dark greenish blue color. I'm not a huge fan of the color I chose, but I still think it looks good given the paint I have. If you're making a large batch that you want to be identical, Use paint straight from the bottle, but it looks okay to have different colored sections of water. That's normal for most natural things. And if you know you're going to use different colors, you can make it a little bit splotchy even within the tiles to really lean into that variation. Once that paint dries, you're going to give a heavy dry brush of a slightly lighter color. And then just keep layering up with lighter colors and lighter dry brushing until finally you're at white where only the peaks of the largest waves are highlighted. I think I did three or four layers of dry brushing and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Ideally at this point I'd say give it all a navy wash but I don't have navy paint so I didn't do this step. If you try it let me know in the comments how that worked out. I'd also recommend one final white dry brushing if you do the wash. And there it is. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit the like button, I really appreciate it. And consider subscribing if you'd like to see more tutorials like this or terrain building like this. And if you want to get a notification whenever I post a new video, hit that bell. With that, I'll see you in the future.